Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Best Advice Ever channel, where no advice is ever given. Alright guys, so this is my last video of the day on rock painting and stuff like that, or at least getting molds, okay? So this is another Etsy creator, and they are very popular on the YouTubes and um, Facebook and Twitter, all the places, right? Where rock painting is... Um, done or displayed stuff like that. So the happy dotting company. So let me tell you this All right, so these are some instructions on how to create stuff. I mean look at this stuff here, right? Look at that So pretty so pretty. Okay Now I'm gonna show you what's going on here, right? So what I've got two um Two packages and both were for the US and they were for, for free shipping. I was like, okay, let me do this. All right, I decided I'm gonna, I will go ahead and invest the freaking god awful money for this, right? And she's over in Australia, I believe. So, but uh, anyway, so this guy is more of a half sphere. Okay, and this is what she does she saw a need and she filled it. All right, so you can't see that in here. Very well. Let's see here. Yeah, right there. That guy there? That is a slight indentation. This is the exact center of this mold. So when the stone comes out, you already know where the center is. You don't have to look for it. See? And this keeps it stable, but also where that center is. All right. So there you go. So that's pretty awesome. And all the molds are pretty much the same. This one isn't the spherical one. This is more a little bit more flatter rounded type of mold. Very huge. I've got two of these. I didn't know I was getting two. I have a smaller size. Again, there are two of these. Okay. Those letters I was telling you will fit on these molds. So these will be definitely my, my selling rocks. All right. Then I have this big, huge jumbo one. What the real is am I going to do with a jumbo mold? I have no idea, but I'm going to make stuff. Who knows? Maybe I'll get really good at this and I'll just make amazing things. And it'll be fantastic. Or not. But again, so you can see that dot really a lot more pronounced there. So, But all these molds have that dot. And that's what makes hers more, when you're ready to be on that professional level, then this is what you want to get. You want to come up here on that professional level and, and get these molds. Now, for the mandala dotting painting, she has also some very unique stencils, okay? With these stencils, what happens is you don't have to mark all the places. You can mark some of the places with a chalk line or a chalk uh, pencil, and this gives you the guideline of what where you're going to go and you decide what you're going to do. Are you going to do lines? Are you going to do hearts? You know, or are you going to try to do like maybe some, you know, heart dots or square dots or round dots? I don't know. Anyway, I don't think people have done that yet, but it'll, it'll happen soon. The point is, is that this guy here is concave. So this fits really well on that dome mold I just showed you. Plus, if you have a mold that's dumb, there you go. Here's another one. The bigger size. Oh my gosh, it's huge. Look at that. And then, this is, I believe this is the exact same size as the other one. So, I think I got a little doubles on my little stuff, but that's okay. Then you have these guys here. Now, these are still flexible silicon. Alright. But, they are flat. They can move around. So let's say I want to do a few things on this rock. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll put this guy on here. And there you go. If I want to go around the rock, then I can wrap this around the rock and make a few stencils there. Right. And there you go. Or let's say I want to do something here. And then I want to do something here. And then I want to do, you know, something here. If I want to take this centerpiece and just make a lot of different areas for it, I can. And I can move this with it without having something straight impede me. All right. And then this is the bigger one. 
exact same thing, just bigger. And this is really, really genius for anyone that is rock painting professionally and sells their artwork. I mean, this is fantastic artwork. All right. Actually, let me show you something here. So I have this rock here. This is from where I live at. And I wasn't sure if I was actually going to use it, but I could, this fits. This fits almost perfectly. I have to push it down a little bit, but look at that. It's not perfectly concave or anything like that, but this molds to it. And if I take the bigger one, it's a little standing out here, but I mean, look at that. All I have to do is just hold it as I'm going and then it holds it down and I make my marks. And that's a rock that isn't even like spherical at all, <laughs> you know? So that's pretty awesome. All right, so two more molds. They also have the heart. Now I have hearts from the previous one, but this one's super, super jumbo. Okay, like super jumbo. All right. I'm not going to fill this heart all the way up. I'm going to fill it about halfway and be done with it. All right. Might have to do a little sanding on it, you know, because of maybe some little rough edges. But dude, does this have a dot? The hearts don't have dots in them. So you're going to have to find your own, your own center if you're going to be doing centers on these guys. But this is... This is a nice piece right here, right? Then we have the um, the oval shapes. I like this guy. I like the fact they're in these bright colors too, you know? Because you get these bright colors and what happens is you just feel like you really want to do this, you know? It feels like a joy to come in and mold. And they fit just like that. All right, guys. So that is it for the Happy Dotting Company. She has lots of tutorials. She's got lots of products. She has a lot of um, dot painting YouTubers out there using her product. She she sends a product out, you know, and, uh, you know, so far they're like, they're expensive and they're worth it. You know, if you want to up your game to professionalism and sell these guys, this is what you want to do. Um, I'm not to that point yet, but when I get to that point, this is, I already have the tools. I'm prepping myself and getting ready for success, right? Because that's what you got to do. If you want to be successful, you've got to prep yourself and get yourself ready for success. Because if you're still, if you're always trying to get ready, you will never be ready. You know, there isn't a perfect way of doing things. Some people, you know, you just got to do what you got to do and start doing things. You know, start painting those rocks or start draw drawing those items. Get that skill in. And then, you know struggle to, to get that thing to get the professional stuff and I'm like eh, I don't really want to struggle you know if I can get it let me get it you know it's an investment especially with uh PayPal and you can do paying for yeah it's my best friend all right all right go forth be amazing guys remember the happy dotting company uh another uh, uh Etsy shop for you know another mom and pop type of store uh go forth be amazing and fabulous and hopefully I will have some rocks molded for you the next time, and maybe I'll have some made. Maybe I won't. I don't know. <laughs> All right, go forth. Be amazing. Oh, wait. Before I go, before I go, I'm going to show you this, right? So these are some rocks I did, All right. So this is my rendition of the TARDIS, all right, and the second Doctor uh, or the first Doctor of the rebooted series. What was the second? The first one said fantastic. And then David Tennant said brilliant. And brilliant is uh, is one of my words that I tell people. Go forth and be brilliant and amazing. You know? So there you go. And here's another one. A sticker that I put on here. And that's cute. I put some glitter on here. I don't know what else I'm going to do yet, but... I've got it prepped and ready to go. And here's another one. I got these stickers. And that is actually really pretty. Right there. I used, what did I use? Glamour, Annie Howe's Glamour Glaze. And it's a 3D craft glaze. I put some water on here to see if it was going to affect it. It doesn't. It seems to be holding it pretty good. And I'll show you that right there. And I was using this for, um, for glass pendants. That's more crafting projects I have that I'm not showing you one. And these guys here are rocks. Now, these are the rocks that came in my kit, okay? They did not come like this. I actually 
um, did the, the base paint on this. I watched a YouTube video called um, Dotting 101 or Dot Painting 101. And she has, she does like weekly Facebook pages and stuff like that or videos. And she posts them on YouTube. This is pretty awesome and amazing. I like this. I love the technique on it. And uh, yeah, anyway, so that's all I have for now. Go forth, be amazing and fabulous and brilliant as per usual. And maybe I'll do another video on my supplies. I don't know. Bye.